Mrs. Jones, you own a daycare center. Correct. You take care of a number of children. Yes, sir. At the time of this situation, how many children did you At have? At the time of this situation, yeah. we had maybe about 25 or 30. You engaged the defendant as a volunteer driver. Yes, sir. He volunteered for us for about two months. His responsibilities were to drive the children to and from school. Correct. You allege that he got into an accident. Fortunately, there were no children in the Correct. vehicle. And that he totaled your van. Yes, sir. And therefore, you're suing him now for the value of the van, which is $3,350. Correct. All right. Mr. Carter, you claim that you don't owe the plaintiff anything that you were not at fault during this accident and that the plaintiff should have had insurance and he should have pursued this with his insurance company. Correct. Mr. Jones, you say that you have insurance. Yes, sir. Why aren't you seeking remuneration from your insurance company? All we have were liability. They said they weren't going to cover anything since Michael was at fault. Was he a permitted driver under your insurance policy? We gave him permission to drive the vehicle, but he wasn't necessarily under the insurance policy. He was driving it in the course of your business? Correct. I understand we have a diagram here. Correct. Can you show us how the accident occurred? Yes. Uh... What am I looking at? What are we this, looking this, at? I'm missing the expressway. Getting off the ramp right here and I made a left on Washington Road. You come off the ramp, and now you're entering a street. What street is that, Washington Washington street? Road. Is there a stop sign when you come off the ramp? I think so, not Did for you sure. stop at the stop sign? Sure, I looked both ways, and I didn't see anything coming, and I made a left. And so I proceeded down Washington Road, and about 150 yards, I heard a big commotion came and hit me from the back. This car was coming out the street here. He hit that car first. And then he hit me. Is this the vehicle you were driving? Yes, yeah, that's the van. Do you see where the damages are? Well, I guess, it, I don't, you know, I guess he hit me. It looks like it hit you from the side. Yeah, it might have been, might have been the no. side. Okay. You can go back to your podium. Yes. Do you concede that this is the way the accident occurred? I go by what the police report told me, and from what it looks like, he did not yield at the stop sign. And the police report indicates says, driver of vehicle number one, that's you, Mr. Carter. Yes. Failed to yield to vehicle number two as he was making a left turn from the off-ramp onto Washington Road. Vehicle number one, your vehicle, struck vehicle number two. The impact caused vehicle number two to strike vehicle number three. Is that the way it happened? You said I hit another car? The police said that you hit the car, yeah. Now, Mr. Jones, in your papers, you say that you found out subsequently that he had a bad driving record. Yeah, and I found out everything after the fact. Why is that? Don't you have a responsibility, especially when we're dealing with children, to make sure that the people that you let take them to school have a driving record that's actually exemplary? Isn't that your responsibility? That is, yes, sir. Unfortunately, I took the word of his wife, Sheila Burt, is that the extent of the screening that you did to let this gentleman drive children to school? Yes, sir, that is. Judge DeWald. Ms. Sheila, you mind standing? It's interesting, I read in the complaint that you informed Mr. Jones that your husband was a very bad driver. He had a, a history of totaling several cars. Did I just snitch on you? I'm sorry, you, you kind of looked to the side <laughs> like, uh... I didn't say he was a bad driver. Okay, it what did was... you say? Okay, he has wrecked one of my cars. Okay. And I say, he, he don't drive my car. <laughs> so you don't let him drive your car? <laughs> my car. He drives his car and I drive my car. And you recommended him as a driver yes. for children? Yes, I did. Why? He need a job. He was volunteering. Well, he needed something to do. Something to do? During the day, he's retired and he said he wanted something to do. You know, it would be good for him to get out and help out. You couldn't find him anything to do around the house? No. No? No. You wanted to get him out of the house. That's what you were trying to do. Yes. I see. 